In this video, we'll use two different event handlers from the Telerik RAD grid to demonstrate how to retrieve and display the primary key for the selected item. That's the item command and the selected index changed command. To demonstrate this technique, we'll hook a RAD grid up to the Northwind customers database and then show you how to hook two different event handlers up so that when you select an item, the primary key for the item is displayed up here in this area. And those two events are going to be the item command event and the selected index changed event. So we'll start our project off by adding a SQL data source. We'll connect the data source up to the Northwind database selecting the customers table inside that database and from that table we'll take the customer ID, contact name and title, and address columns. We'll finish with that. The next thing we'll do is add a RAD grid to the form and of course we'll hook that up to the SQL data source that we just created. We will not auto-generate the columns at runtime but I am going to open up the property builder and we'll do two things. First thing we'll do is go select the customer ID column and tell it we're not going to display that. And the other thing we'll do is we will add a select button to the form and we'll just move that up so that it's on the left hand side. We'll apply the changes. Close the smart tag and the other thing we need to do is hook up to the event handlers. So the first event handler that we'll connect to is this item command event handler. And we'll just paste in a little snippet of code we've already prepared. So when the item command fires, it's going to check to see if it's a select command. If it is, it's going to start writing to the response stream. It's going to write out this phrase here, the primary key from the item command is. And then what it does is it takes the item that's passed in as part of the event arguments and it will find what that index, what the index of that item is, and use that index to index into the data key values array that's maintained by the RAD grid. And when it gets that entry, it'll extract the customer ID key and add that into the response stream. The other thing that we need to do at this point is make our application aware of the Telerik dot web controls namespace so that it knows about the RAD grid enumerations and so forth. So let's run this and see what it looks like. And when our grid is displayed, we can select one of the items and get the primary key displayed for that item up here in the top. So this item command event handler is the first way to determine the item key. The other thing we're going to do is hook up the selected index changed command. And so we'll paste in a code snippet here again. And it's going to do almost the same thing. It's going to write out to the response stream the uh, selected index changed information. This time, however, it's going to use the RAD grid uh, selected items item index. So this is the array of selected items. And it's going to find the item index for the only item that we've selected again index into the data key values that's maintained by the RAD grid and again parse out the customer ID field and add that to the end of the string that's being built right here. So if we run this and then select an item you'll see that the event gets handled twice once for the item command and once for the selected index changed command, but they both give us
the same result. And that's how you can use the code behind in two different ways to extract the primary key of the item that's been selected on the grid. For more Telerik videos, technical discussion forums, and examples, please go to www.telerik.com.